Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, we have some exciting news here at the farm. Um, not quite as exciting as a new manure spreader, but we got new parts. There is a stack of uh, chain links. Right over here is some bars. There's some more chain link in the box. And I guess we will uh, put this all together and we will have a manure spreader that hopefully functions. Had an interesting phone call this morning on uh, somebody possibly possibly wanting to buy a new manure spreader and go halvesies on it, but not sure if that'll happen or not. Kind of doubt it, but anyhow, most exciting news, we got a new chain so I can get back to the manure hauling haul business and hopefully get that done sometime soon or done at least done enough that I feel like I can call it done for the year. Um, actually, I'm going to start drilling oats hopefully within the next few days or by next week hopefully for sure so I'll be doing some drilling videos um, but right now it's raining out so I can't can't be drilling today it's not raining hard but it's just it's just wet too wet to be in the field I could be hauling could be hauling manure with the truck but um, got a lot of stuff going on with Kevin I think we had I don't know 20, 20 calves today or something already so um, been busy with that I guess so anyhow I thought I'd let you guys know we have new parts and I'll add to this and we'll put uh, the total cost and roughly what it took for time in there and uh, we'll go from there Thanks. well I'm back again I didn't get a chance on to work on this earlier I got interrupted and had to go do some other things so I'm just going to show you everybody how these chains actually go together. So I got every five links, there'll be a bar. I got well, not much done so far. So you just put these, put these on and, and turn it. Pretty simple. Um, the hard part is to do it while you're videotaping. Yeah, you guys get the hint on how that works, I guess. Hopefully, most of you do. I'm going to use one box there. On the second box, I've got three more boxes there. Um, and the hard part's actually getting it underneath and it hangs, it's got brackets that it hangs on. I'll just go underneath and show you that. Might be too dark, but you can see the brackets barely hanging down. We gotta actually get it on them and not get it caught. And we've got the helper. I don't care for the helper much, but anyhow, we got another helper. Forgot about it, I let her in since it's raining out. But anyhow, I'll show you guys this when I get done. I don't think you guys need to watch me put any more together. Um, that's how them work, and it's go all the way around, and I'll put that on the bottom and pull it through and get it tightened up, and I'll go over the price sheet of what it cost. Roughly with my time and stuff when I get done. That'll be at the end of this. Thanks. Well, all right, everybody. Um, be the final update, hopefully, on the manure spreader repair, the chain flow repair. Um, got it all in there. <laughs> got it all hanging down like it should. Looks like it turned out nice. I'm, I'm happy with it, I guess. Um, but anyhow, there she is. And uh, here we'll go over the receipt. The receipt's right over here. So I buy, bought my parts from Suit Manufacturing. Um, they're awful cheap for planter parts and refrigerator parts, so baler parts, uh, a lot of different parts you can get from there. And so it takes, uh, 
It takes uh, 272 links and it takes 23 bars. So that's the bar there. You know, they go oop, 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 and the links are in between. And the total cost was $920. So, you guys want to stop and look at the price of everything? I'm going to hold this so you guys can pause it. If you want to look, um, it took me probably um, in between putting that plate in there and replacing the chain, it probably took me, I'm guessing, probably about 10 hours total. Uh, that probably that includes taking the old chain out, um, picking up that mess, and and scooping out the last of it there. So whatever you want to value your time, just say about eight to ten hours of labor and and nine hundred and twenty dollars in parts for. I only did this side. That side we actually done about two years ago. So anyhow, that's the cost on it. You can labor your you can your own price on your labor. Um, anyhow, I guess we'll maybe get the haul in Minerva before I go back to the field or go to the field and start drilling, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one.